Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a few things I wanted to share with you. Some of these items, um, at least the top three, I purchased for myself. And then the ones on the bottom, there are two books that my son got me for Christmas. So I thought I'd share everything with you. So first off, we have a little set of distress crayons from um, Tim Holtz. They're like the distress ink colors and they are crayons. I don't think I showed any of these before, but I bought one in Victorian velvet and I thought I would try these out. So we will try those out in another video. <laughs> I haven't even played with them yet, really. I did buy myself the Derwent metallic paint set that uh, kind of goes along with the um, Inktense paint palettes. It looks the same. These aren't... Well, let's try to get the box open, shall we? They're watercolors. They're not Inktense, so... But they are really pretty and a gorgeous set. I've already swatched these and I mean they are just really pretty. <laughs> I will uh, show you um, the swatching of those. I put them in the uh, big book of colors here and um, we're in the back in the watercolor section. Now they didn't have a color chart for these because these are the set is new but I didn't find um, the ink tense pan sets either so instead of putting them in the very back I just uh, drew little squares and put the Derwent ink pen set one and two here and then put the metallic set over here. So those are the colors and you can tell that they are very metallic which is really cool but they are also gorgeous on white paper which is unusual but I also did <laughs> a um, seahorse here in the metallics on the black paper and had a lot of fun with that so I kind of left me a note saying what I used on it so I will remember but they turned out really nice so I used those Move that out of the way. I have my first book here. I've been uh, watching Connie on uh, her channel and she does a lot of um, pictures in these books. I believe this is the first one and then there's two and three. And um, I'll get you up here. This Forest Girls Coloring Book. And of course I can't read the rest of that. But I can leave a link down below. I got it in Amazon. And they have the cutest little pictures in here. It's just adorable. I can do a flip through. It will take a while. There's a lot of pages in here. I was surprised. So break the spine a little here. I was under the impression that it had like a few pictures in the beginning that were already colored. And then we would get into the coloring later in the book. But no, we kind of jump right in. I like the texture on the back of that page. So on every um, page that's in here, you'll see a line here that you can cut the um, page out and then it's even on both sides if you wanted to frame it when you are done. This is the artist's picture here that you can draw inspiration from and kind of see where the lines are and what they've done. So they've got the little puppy over here and you got a little squirrel which are going to be reoccurring characters along with the little girl here. <laughs> but like the background, if you didn't know how to um, do this, you could get inspiration from the page here or how to color in the rocks, that kind of thing. So every page in here is going to have one of these and one of these. You can, it's really nice paper, use water mediums, um, your colored pencils, Heck, you can use just about anything you want. Just remember, if you're going to use like alcohol markers, you will ruin this side of the page. So if you like work from the back forward and you didn't care about this part, which is so pretty, 
then you could use those um, alcohol markers in. Just remember to put a sheet behind here so it doesn't bleed through that page into this page, okay? But I think I'll be using like um, watercolor ink tents, that kind of thing in here, along with colored pencils. Always do a test page in the back just to make sure it doesn't bleed through. But I mean, they are just gorgeous in every page. Like uh, we've got clouds here, so you can put in clouds. You could put a moon in here. You could put a sun in there. You can do whatever you want, but you can draw inspiration out, which is really cool. So we'll do kind of a quick, th there's a lot, a lot of pages in here. And if you want a better flip through, one, I think there are tons of them out there, but I could slow down and, uh, I mean, isn't that pretty with the background just watercolored or I could do distress ink on that and just have the leaves falling down and these two sitting on a, it looks almost like a dock. You could even put water out there if you wanted. They're just really pretty. It's a nice soft, um, gray color on the paper too. It's not your black black lines so when you put down your color it'll kind of blend right into that which is cool. I think I skipped a page. Oh, maybe not. They're just thick. <laughs> the umbrella. Inside a house. In the little bathtub. I mean they're just gorgeous pictures. And like I said, there are a lot of them in here. <laughs> I don't know how many pages are in this. I didn't count and it didn't say. Then we have the day spent at home. So this is part, it says uh, part two. So part one is, what did it say? Sorry. Girl in the forest. Now we're in the home. And I think there's another one in here. So, like I said, lots and lots of pictures. So these will be in her house. Just, just cute. Like I said, I could do a better flip through, but I want to get through all the books. They are just really pretty. Oh, I love that one with the books. <laughs> yeah, I haven't figured out what picture I'm going to do first, but then we have a season of blooming. <laughs> oh, that's cute too. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this book. This is going to be one of those I don't know if I want to get through. It's so big. And then we have these two books. So my son picked me up. Um, romantic country fantasy coloring books, Eerie. This is a land of beautiful towering castles, and this one is the tale of the secret forest and animals. <laughs> I was like, did you get into my wish list? <laughs> Go watch one of my YouTube channels. This one is done, it's almost a brown color ink. I've got to move that over because these are a little bit bigger than the other book. So we'll have the center page here or the beginning page. The town. This is a dwelling forest. And then you get into chapter one. And I mean, these are just, they're going to be double page spread, some of them, which is quite large. But they look really pretty too. I mean, that would be a great one for Christmas with the nutcrackers out there and the trees. And again, nice thick paper. <laughs> a little goose here, which is nice. And we got some single pages. Again, I'm going to do a quick flip through because I do have another book to show you. Well, that's a little poster or something back here. Hot air balloons, clocks, circus, <laughs> pancake party. That one's going to be busy. 
little bear reading books. I mean, this is cool. I've seen a lot of people coloring in this, and I was going to buy these, and he went and bought them for me, so that was really cool. So, yeah, even big, bold ones like that. So that's the uh, fantasy coloring book, and this one is the A Land of Beautiful Towering Castles. So this one will have, oh, this has got Easter in it. Another bookshop. Cute. Almost looks like a postcard. <laughs> That was a village scape with beautiful forests and lakes. I'm going backwards, so sorry. If you want me to go through these a little slower, that would be pretty colored up. Um, just let me know. Comments below. Just I want to see that in slower. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that slower. And you get the whole towns here, which is really neat. Anyway, I wanted to share those because I'll be coloring in them. Wanted to let you know where they came from. I'm going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get a colored picture in by the end of the year. Still a little busy around here, so we'll see if I can. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, if you want to see one of these books in a slower video, just let me know down below. Uh, and I will try to get um, a video up on those. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye now.